on that midnight train to Georgia. Does she sing Midnight Train to Georgia? Pretty yeah, I think so. I know I know she sings one of the songs. One of the songs that I sang here. That this uh, lengthy stay of uh, experimental Oh, we can't go down there. Oh, is our buddy there? It's Nimo. If my if my buddy is ever working tonight, oh my god. That that'd be like a hundred dollars an hour. Easy. But uh yes, we will definitely meet up with uh, our friend there. But leaving on that midnight train to Georgia. Anyway on the midnight train. You had a beautiful childhood, if you were, can recall these. You know the goalies? The goalies, like the goalies, you know, you play in the street and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, it is the fourth, it's, uh, I believe, our sixth year anniversary. Because it happened on the show, it was like the beginning of the show. And I do, I do have that footage of uh, when I got back a few hours later. But it was it was February fourth. Uh, geez, the time. I'm not sure of the time. Cause I was doing I was doing things a little bit differently back then. But I remember being uh, in the store until until about six with the officer, like you know, and do all the paperwork and all that kind of stuff. I got a good memory. That's the point. Now bring stuff up for a reason. I mean, last night there was like a, a strange dream. With uh, with my dad, seriously, and there was a lot of weird things that like came. I mean, if you do have dreams, it, I mean, like when you get up, you try to remember them as best as you can. Coffee will help. Yes, it's strong. That's a strong one too. So um. I just remember they had it. It was like childhood, childhood stuff, in a sense. Because maybe it had something to do with when I seen that commercial, the the Walmart commercial. It had it had everything. It had the Night Rider, the Ghostbuster thing, whatever else. It's early, so I usually don't wake up to around five five thirty. Like you know, usually after like I'll listen to the show to see if uh, if we're hitting the mark. If it's, uh, if it's Raymer-ish material, I mean, there's, there's something inside of me that someday wants to get it right, and, uh, we don't have much time to waste anymore at it, and that's why, you know, we're, we're choosing love, because, because hate is too hard of a road to travel, you know, seriously, you think I'm joking? I've been subconscious of it. I mean, I tried. I mean, just thinking like when I was uh, when I was coming down, I was thinking of Como and everything because of the feed and everything. There was a few things. There was the one one post I did comment on before I left, and I just said, you know, that's how it is, man. That's I've always been how Democrats have been. That that's what a Democrat empire rule looks like. I mean, I've been around. I've been around. So you watch your Super Bowl. Okay, what does it entail? What does it tell you to do? You, know, you have your M&M's commercial. You have your Pepsi. You know, the Pepsi. I mean, they make it look so good. Like, it's impulse. We have the deer out. The deer are back. Back. Back in the deer. And pretty soon, you know, that groundhog. I don't know, maybe about another week and a half or two weeks. Who knows, I could be wrong on that. Um, hold on a second here. So, uh, alright, let's get a little bit of continuity. Do we have any open music? Leaving? On the midnight train. So I guess, maybe, alright, so Gladys, she sang, uh, the national anthem or something, or... I mean, the whole thing like, uh, was just very well orchestrated. If you know anything about like the the top networks there, they have to get out their their messaging 
I mean, it's a collaboration. And it's, dare I say, pay to play, in a sense. I mean, it is. I mean, you get in there, you gotta know people, man. You gotta know. And uh, we live in this day and age, you know, where we discuss, like, um, peace. We often say it all the time. It's like, uh, peace. And we take things. We take things from history. And, uh, we use them. But do we apply them? Do we apply them? And all the incidents, a lot of things throughout the show, a lot of the subject matter, things that were happening, I would always, like, I would take a different side to it. Because, uh, I would say to myself, there's something not right here. There's something not right. And for that, a lot of people would, would just say, man, there's something wrong with you. I said, no, it's just, I, 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 I understand a certain, you know, one certain thing, like, you know, I had, well, not one certain thing, but a lot of certain things, but mainly one certain thing. I mean, you got to keep on loving one another. You got to keep on loving. You can't just say, you know, you just can't put people, like, you know, away from society. There was a, a big power outage in uh, New York City with a prison. It's got a little bit of play. It's got a little bit of play. But, um, had a lot to do with probably money, I would guess. They didn't have the resources, you know, to, uh, to bring them over to the building next door. I guess. I mean, we gotta know really what's going on. We just can't be told and be, be, be fed according to, like, how they want us to react and act and be and shut our mouths up, you know. Because you, you can't... I mean, and I'm not saying to go out there and be, like, uh, you know, a disturber of peace or anything like that. And I'm saying... You, you, you can't let all these things just keep on going by and going by, sweep them under the rug. This has been going on for the longest time. But everyone's got these memes, everyone's got these... You know how many posts that I looked at through the years, like before, when when you had the feed and everything, and everyone was just throwing up all this stuff? I mean, has any of it really come true? Are we much better? Are, are things getting done? Unity. Tomorrow will be a unity speech. And I already know that anyone listen to me who, uh, who, do, who do not like Republicans, conservatives, stuff like that, and like who who is in the White House. You know, I know that they're just they're trying to find something, something in my my soul, or um, for something that I post or anything. Well, you have it. You have me cornered. I believe in this in this thing of, of taking care. I mean, I always said it. I, mean, I hate to sound like a broken record, but I believe. You know, you just can't. I, I seen it my whole life. I seen. I seen this one particular um, area of life that has gotten worse. But we're not starving. Let's put it that way. There's a lot less people around going, like, starving. But are we organizing it correctly? Are we doing things, you know, to protect the earth, save the earth, conservation, whatever the freaking thing is? Let's go to a little bit more intro. Conservation, right? Yes. All right. What are they, Kevin? Um... So, looking at the timer here, it is the 4th, so yes, it was the 4th, it was, it was February 4th, All right, I gotta, free, I gotta try to uh, stick with the program here myself, so it's a 6 year anniversary, I, I would uh, assume, my father always said anniversary kind of wrong, but, um, and I often said, like I always said, breakfast wrong, but, uh, but no need to worry because, uh, you know, as Tom Brokaw said, and he got blasted for it, you know, let's change, let's change the language. I don't care. 
but I mean, I'm, it's it, it's got to be easy. It's got to be easy for me to pick up. I took an Italian class, and uh, I didn't really learn too much from it, but I did pass it. Thankfully, for because of the internet and everything, I mean, it was just easy to like go there and um, write sentences and all that kind of stuff, and write about the different parts. You got to know the desserts and this and that, and uh, I don't know the architect and this. There's a nice show that helps me along the way. The uh, cash cab. Yes, you're in the cash cab. My name is Ben Carson. What's the name, Ben? My name is, yeah, it's maybe Ben Carson. My name is Ben Carson, and I'm going to take you to your destiny. I'm going to ask you general knowledge questions all the way up. And, uh, oh, I'm almost going through a red light. Because I want to creep up to see if that's National Grid. But I doubt it. He'll be working right now. I'm going to take you to your destination. I'm going to answer your general knowledge questions all the way up. Uh, if you continue to answer and everything, you're going to win cash all the way up. But here's the deal. If you uh, get three wrong, that's three strikes and you're out. I'm going to kick you on the spot. Kick you on the spot. I don't want to do that, but I will if I have to. Are you ready? Are you in? Yes, we're in. Uh, so, um, everyone have a good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whatever it may be in your neck of the woods. So it was February 4th. And uh, I pulled up to the gas island. Really lame show here. You know, that, that's like the, that's the gist of it. Like, you know, there was so many things I was trying to like, get into. But since, like, I got to direct it and do everything on my own and all this kind of crap. Yes. Once in a while, it's because it let off a little steam. Because of, like, the things that are going on. I mean, what I realized, you really can't do anything about it. You can't. Just gotta let it be. You know, sooner or later, sometime down the line, you know, people will get it. They'll come around to it. They'll understand. Or the people that have been getting, you know, like, duped and, you know, bamboos. I don't know. What's a good word? Stuff, you know, like the wool over their eyes. They're just like, you know, just the joke's on you kind of thing. You know, the people that just don't get it, they don't get it, and we're going, we're going to have to go so slow here because you can't even, this car can barely get up the street, I can, now I understand why all the mirrors are all like in the road, you know, people, cause this car is small, and the way they park here, it's, I see them all over, you know, I'll probably take a bike ride today because, uh, roads ain't too bad and I just you know just to get her out like put a break in the action because uh, a nice week here of weather you went to Bramer and the nightmare and the twinkles 